So for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a pair of Yeezy 700s in the mauve colorway. Now, this is a size 9. So, I mean, you can if they're not your size, you can sell them. You can keep them if they are your size. It's up to you. But here they are, the Moab 700s. Really good condition. No wear on the bottom. Here's both sneakers right here. I just don't wear these. And, you know, I don't really just want to sell them. I'd rather give them away to one of you guys. So, if you want a chance to win these right here, here's what you have to do. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on my Instagram and comment your Instagram name below. Then you will be entered to win these right here. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing an unpopular opinion streetwear edition. So if you're on Twitter recently, these have been blowing up. It's called unpopular opinion and then they'll have a whole thread based on a subject. So you know, I was thinking, you know, I have some unpopular opinions about streetwear. So I thought, why not just make a video about it? So let's go ahead and get into it. Some of you might get your feelings hurt, but it's just my opinion. Don't take it too serious. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first unpopular opinion is wearing the red tag on your off-white sneakers. So if you don't know, when you get a pair of off-white Nikes, it comes with a red hang tag. And it seems like every time I see someone wearing a pair of off-white Nikes, they have the red hang tag hanging on there like, for what? I mean, do you wear it just to make sure everyone knows you have off-white sneakers? I don't think you wear it because it looks good because, I mean, it's just a tag on your sneaker. I don't think it looks the best. For me, I feel like it looks like you're trying too hard. I feel like you just want everyone to know you have a pair of off-whites on because, honestly, you can see the tag from a distance, so you'll be able to notice it. Now, my opinion, I think it just looks way cleaner without the tags. That way, it's more subtle. You're not really trying to show off too much. And then when someone actually sees you have off-whites on and you don't have the tag on it, it's a subtle flex. And overall, the shoe just looks way cleaner without the tag. I mean, it's the equivalent to, I mean, a couple years ago, people were wearing their fitted hats with the tag still on it. I mean, people still do that, but it's just tacky to me. Like, no one needs to know you have a fresh fitted on. Like, I mean, it's if it's authentic, it's authentic. If it's not, it's not. I mean, no one's going to judge you. You know, it's just annoying. People just want to have, like, that authentic feeling and... It, who cares at the end of the day? So that was one. Let's go ahead and get to the next one. So unpopular opinion number two. Gucci is trash. Now, just look at this button-up shirt they have listed on their site. Honestly, it looks like a grandma gown. I don't know why anyone would purchase this. And on top of that, just look at how they modeled it. I mean, this dude or woman, I don't really know what this guy or girl is. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. He or she looks like Napoleon Dynamite, so... It's just mind-blowing that this is what they're selling. This shirt actually goes for $780. Who in the world is paying $780 for a shirt you can get at the thrift store or that you can steal from your grandma's closet. They also have this sweater here. Now this sweater, I mean, trash, super trash. The only reason anyone would get this is because it's Gucci. If this was an H&M, Forever 21, one of those stores, everyone would hate it. Now I don't know if you guys played Galaga before, but it literally looks exactly the same, the same print. But if you want a Galaga sweater, this is the one for you. Now they also have this Pittsburgh Pirates pullover hoodie. Just look at how plain and simple this is. Now, they do have Gucci branding on the back, but if you didn't see that, you would think this is regular Pittsburgh Pirates merch. And that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that this is going for over $1,000. No lie, you could probably go on the Pirates website and find one that looks similar to this and pay what? Like maybe 60 bucks max. I mean, the shoes are no exception. They are pretty trash as well. I mean, just look at this sneaker right here. Honestly, I can see this being footwear for a Fortnite skin. With all the colors, all the jewels on it, it's just super ugly. And you cannot forget the Donald Trump slippers. No lie, they look kind of comfortable. I'm not gonna lie about that but they're hideous. It, like, I mean, it's a whole furball on your foot. Then you got these right here. I mean, these look like knockoff Tims. I mean, I guess it's the bougie version of a Timberland, but I mean, I don't know why you would pay this much money for an ugly boot, but people have their own style. People have their own budget. So, I mean, if you like these, go ahead and do you. People just buy things for the hype. They want to feel better than other people. So, you know, they're going to do whatever they want to do. All right, guys, next unpopular opinion is ripped jeans gotta go. Now, I'm not talking about all distressed denim. I'm talking about these right here. When distressed denim went mainstream, I mean, it... It got really ugly. I mean, you can go in almost any store in the mall and I guarantee you they'll have distressed denim. It's just so tacky, so like overdone. It doesn't look natural. When your grandma starts getting into ripped jeans, I mean, you know the trend is pretty much done. But Minimal has a good selection. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out. I really recommend them. Now let's go ahead and get to the next one. Now, just like distressed denim, I'm gonna say track pants they can go to. And when I say track pants, I mean basic ones like this. You know, really plain, really simple. A lot of stores carry them now, so it's just like overdone. But there is still some nice alternatives if you do like the track pants. Minimal has the crop track pants. Those are really nice. I actually just picked up a pair in my other video. They also have sweatpants track pants, which are pretty cool too. So, I mean, they're not completely dead, but a majority of them are trash. 
Now, next popular opinion is being head to toe in designer does not mean you know style. I see so many people on Instagram just flexing head to toe in like Supreme, Off-White, Bape, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. Honestly, it just comes off corny and like seems like you're trying too hard, especially if you didn't earn the money yourself. Like if you have mommy and daddy's money, if you come from money and you're head to toe in designer, you didn't earn it. I mean, then like, really, what are you trying to prove? I mean, I get it. It's for the flex. It's for the gram. I mean, people are going to like it regardless because it's designer. But in my opinion, I mean, if you're going to wear designer, it's cool to mix it up. You know, in my opinion, I would just wear like one designer piece and like the rest really tone down pieces. I wouldn't be decked out head to toe in a bunch of brands. You'll look like a walking billboard. You know, mixed designer with vintage, with no name brands. I mean, it comes off really cool if you can do that. Next one I got for you guys is the face mask. Oh, I hate the face mask so much. Now, the king of face masks, I would say, is probably Easy Busta. I mean, he rocks it pretty well. It's part of his brand. I'm just talking about everyday people that wear it walking around, like, in the mall, outside, doing stuff. Like, why are you wearing a face mask? To me, it just looks super cringy. I don't really think there's anything cool about it. I mean, I understand 14-year-olds may think they're cool if they have a vape or Supreme face mask. And it is cool for the right occasion. Like, say you're going snowboarding or something, you know, wearing a nice Supreme ski mask is dope. Sometimes people just look like my online GTA character. I mean, someone even made an Ikea face mask, like, this shit is going too far. Now, another unpopular opinion is mismatching sneakers. Super, 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 super trash trend. I don't really think it happens too much anymore, but I know back like a couple years ago, people used to do this all the time, especially in my high school, that people used to wear mismatched chucks, mismatched bands, and of course, mismatched Jordans. It's just when you take two colorways of a sneaker, you put one on each foot, and you have a new set of sneakers. I mean, some NBA players also wear mismatched sneakers during their games. I mean, just by the pictures I just showed you guys, I, it's just, it's trash. Super trash. Next up, we have how ugly designer sneakers are. Now, if you know about designer sneakers, I'm sure you have seen these Mason Margellas. Just look at how trash this sneaker looks out the box. And this sneaker is going for over a thousand dollars. Like who in the world is paying for this? There's also this Vediments and Rebox collaboration, which is, I don't understand why people pay top dollar for trash sneakers. I mean, I guess because they're so rich, they want to look poor. I don't know. Then you have these ugly Louis Vuitton sneakers. I mean, it looks like your foot is gonna break while you're wearing these. Like your foot does not stand a chance wearing these sneakers. Just chop my foot off before you put it in a Louis Vuitton sneaker that looks like this. Then we have this one. I forget what brand this is. Bought by the Instagram comments, they're in love with it. Really dope, my G, absolutely loving this fit. Cool colors, dope shoes, man. So beautiful kicks. Like what is with this world and ugly sneakers? I mean, everyone has their own opinion, but some things are just, some things are just ugly. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you enter that giveaway. Let me know your unpopular opinions about streetwear in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.